نم بتخار مجر مطيل أو آرس نهر آرس أنا إذا ما أربسش نوا أخوني أرباش نوا صير الخاصي بخيبة من شبنو بخيبة هل كل أرخبي لبخيا إني هنا بتوب مخايا نيبة أخنا بيايخ وما تخوى التبلس إتوالا نهيبي ما تخوى خا بارختة بيدا بارختة أخنا بطخوى الأرس خاختة جوشقلا نقلدو مرزة إنا تلي لخا قزخ جاشوك لقلو كرتور اللي بلشان بقرصناي أنا إذا ما جاشوك لقلو سلوطة صالبو خاختة جوشقلي أني قرداي بتهاينا عروق من وضوتي برنجومية خاختة جو شقلي إنا أقزخ إندي لتبلي السويس وتيلي لايبدي أنا هل عادية ده إيه بحات دو قزخ هل لم يعصى منشيينا دخوية خلمة قدي From Ermia to Russia, through Delman, Khoi, and Julfa, move a straggling extension of 15,000 famished Assyrian refugees. The move north is spontaneous and inevitable. They seek help on the Russian side. December 22, 1914, Council Videnski. This is the report on the Assyrian refugees written by Videnski, the Russian vice consul in Ermia. World War I Exodus of Christian peoples from their historic places of habitation. Genocide. Who were the Assyrians? During World War I, Many misfortunes and agonies befell the Christian people living in the territory of the Ottoman Empire and northwestern Persia. Those people were Armenians and Assyrians. After the Russian withdrawal from Persia in 1914, a huge number of Assyrian refugees arrived in Tiflis together with the Russian army. The remaining local population endured losses from armed Kurdish tribal marauders. The Russian soldiers went back home, like water spilled on the soil. With the establishment of Bolshevik power in Russia in 1918, and the collapse of the Russian Caucasian military front, a large number of Assyrian refugees again moved toward the Caucasus region with the withdrawing Russian army. Many of them originated from the areas of Ermia, in Persia, and from Hakadi in the Ottoman Empire. They fled to Russia by way of Armenia. According to several sources, an estimated 40 to 60,000 refugees immigrated to Russia in this period, dispossessed of their homeland, countless Assyrian survivors having endured the horrible experiences of World War I, massacres, famine, and violence, scattered through Transcaucasia and the North Caucasus, a majority settled in the Russian cities of Krasnodar, Novocherkask, Armavir, Maika, Lapinsk, and elsewhere. At the beginning of the 20th century, many of them gradually left for Moscow, Leningrad, Kiev, and Kharkov. By 1920, Assyrians living in the territory of the Soviet Union numbered 35 to 40,000. The aspiration to enter the Soviet cultural revolutionary movement made the Assyrian people establish self-help cultural institutions. An organization launched in 1924 called the Union of Assyrians in Russia, or Khoyad Atur, New Assyria. It played an essential role for the preservation of Assyrian people in the Soviet Union. Some efforts were launched to get the Assyrian immigrants back to their homeland, 
particularly to Ermia and Salamas. Many of them had Persian or Turkish passports, which allowed them to depart Russia easily. Male Kambar, the chief of the Hilu tribe who had fought to protect the Syrians in Ermia, made a trip through the Assyrian refugee communities in Russia to encourage them to return with him to settle in the Assyrian protectorate in Syria under the French mandate. However, at the start of the 1930s, Hayat Atur was reorganized and renamed Hayata, All Union Association of Assistance to Working Assyrians. Being an operation across the Soviet Union, it opened national schools, launched training courses for teachers, and published books and textbooks in Assyrian. The organization also aimed at the promotion of compact Assyrian communities throughout Russia. Due to these efforts, the Isors received permission to live in the territory of Gelenkhik, which is on the Black Sea. A resort city now, Gelenkhik then did not provide the Assyrian settlers with the essential conditions for earning a livelihood. The agriculturist refugees found the land disappointingly barren. The Khadyata, which had branches in many cities of the Soviet Union, advanced its activities during the period of 1925 to 1937. И вот возникли школы, возникли возник центр учпедиц в Москве. Schools were set up. The Center of Educational Pedagogy Publishing House was formed in Moscow, which prepared school books. Assyrian was interpreted through the Latin letters and books were published. The authors were the brilliant experts of the Assyrian language. At first, the books were written in Latin letters. Later, they were transformed into Russian with supplementations. The collective farms, kolkhozes, were set up. The Assyrians tried to get back to what they did before, which was being farmers. There was just one collective farm set up where Assyrians came to live village of Ermia in the Kurganinsk region of the Krasnodar territory was established in 1924. It was built by the refugees originally from Ermia, transplanted to Arazdayan village in Armenia along the Turkish border. During and after World War I, when there was a threat from Turkey to occupy the Transcaucasian countries, Armenia, Georgia and Azerbaijan the people of Ermia Arazdayan village fled to Kuban by way of Georgia. At first, they resettled in Lubinsk and other neighboring Cossack villages called Danitsas and Cossack farms known as Hooters. When there was a possibility, the Assyrians to at the first opportunity, the Assyrians came to the Cossack village of Konstantinovsk. The Cossacks provided the Assyrians with land plots near the river of Senyukha, where the village of Urmia was formed. After the war, the next stream of Assyrian refugees from Turkey appeared in our village. They bought houses and became neighbors with the local Assyrians living in the Tersky on Kozak's farm. Land plots near the Novo Alexitskaya farm were given to the Assyrian refugees who formed a hooter in that place and named it Ermia. The settlement had an estimated 50 to 70 Assyrian families who later were joined by many compatriots from Moscow and Leningrad. A primary school was set up. For the Assyrian people, this tiny area in Kuban became a piece of their homeland.
At the end of the 19th century, there was an Assyrian community of 200 people in Armavir, which was a little town then. Starting from the 1880s, Persian Assyrians had come to Armavir in search of jobs. They worked as shoeblacks, porters, and unskilled laborers in brick processing plants. They were certainly also well-to-do Assyrians among them. По составленному членами самой общины по семейному списку. According to the family list constituted by the Assyrian community, there were 262 Assyrians living here in 1909. A number of sources and documents verify that by World War I, there were Assyrian communities in the Kuban region, particularly in the cities of Armavir, Yekaterinodar, and Novorossiysk, and other settlements in our region. Each of these communities had its own way of life and were distinguished from its neighbors. Община сирийцев, которая была достаточно самобытной, отличалась от своих соседей. The houses where the Assyrians used to live have tumbled down now. After World War I, many new refugees settled in Armavir. This town soon became the center of Assyrian national and cultural development. In 1925, an Assyrian school under the direction of permanent schoolmaster Rabi Ushana Bedroev was opened in this building. Due to this man's painstaking efforts, an Assyrian department was launched at the Armavir Pedagogical Technical School, where teachers were trained for national schools. A great number of Assyrians scattered across Russia, Armenia, Georgia, and Azerbaijan came here to train. As a result, a new generation of excellent intellectuals emerged in national cultural life. <laughs> 